Bahubali 2, The Conclusion, English, The One with Strong Arms, The Conclusion, is a 2017 Indian historical fiction film co-written and directed by S. S. Rajamouli. The film was produced by Tollywood studio Arco Media Works. It is the continuation of Bahubali, The Beginning, taking place before and after the events of that film. It was originally made in both Telugu and Tamil and dubbed into Hindi, Malayalam, German, French, Japanese and English. The film stars major actors from Tollywood industry with Prabhas, Anushka Shetty. Rana Dagu Bhatti and Seth Ayaraj in lead roles. Initially, both parts were jointly produced on a budget of 250 rupees crore, 2.5 billion rupees. However, the budget of the second part was increased later. Bahubali 2, the conclusion has made a record of highest pre-release business with 500 rupees crore, 5 billion rupees. Bahubali 2, the conclusion was premiered at the British Film Institute and was theatrically released over 9,000 screens worldwide on the 28th of April 2017. Bahubali 2 was the first Telugu film to be released in 4K high-definition format. It is estimated that close to 200 screens are being upgraded to 4K projectors before the release date of the movie. Bahubali 2 released to positive reviews from critics and surpassed the 2014 Hindi film PK, to become the highest-grossing Indian film of all time collecting approx 800 rupees crore 120 million dollars worldwide within just 6 days of its release it became the first ever indian film to gross over 1000 rupees crore 155 million dollars in all languages in just 10 days equals equals plot equals equals katapa sathiraj continues to narrate how he ended up killing amarendra bahubali prabhas after vanquishing the kalakias amarendra bahubali is declared as the future king of mahishmati and balaladeva rana dagu body is declared as the commander-in-chief. Before the coronation, Rajamatha Sivagami, Ramya Krishnan, begins to look for a bride for Amarendra. She instructs Amarendra and Katapa to tour the kingdom to understand its current state and its people. Amarendra falls in love with Devasena, Anushka Shetty, a princess of the Kuntala kingdom, 7.5 Yohanas in the north from Mahishmati, and the sister of the king of Kuntala. Balaladeva learns of Amarendra's attempts to woo Devasena and hatches a plot to drive a wedge between Amarendra and Sivagami by asking for Devasena's hand in marriage for himself. Sivagami, unaware that Amarendra is in love with Devasena, promises Devasena's hand in marriage to Balaladeva. Sivagami sends an emissary to the kingdom of Kuntala, who delivers the marriage proposal in a patronizing way. An insulted Devasena rejects the proposal with a scathing reply. Sivagami is enraged to hear Devasena's response and sends an order to Amarendra that Devasena be brought to Mahishmati as a captive. The kingdom of Kuntala is attacked by Pindarais, a decoyed like army. Amarendra, with the help of Devasena's maternal uncle, Kumara Varma, Subaraju, is able to nullify the attack and save Kuntala. Amarendra reveals who he is, promises Devasena that he will protect her honor no matter what and convinces her to come with him to Mahasmata as his future bride. Upon reaching Mahasmata, the misunderstanding comes to light. When Sivagami delivers an ultimatum to Amarendra that he must either chose the throne or Devasena, he chooses Devasena. Balaladeva is crowned king and Amarendra is made the new commander-in-chief. During the coronation ceremony the citizens of Mahishmati clearly display their preference for Amarendra over the Balaladeva. At Devasena's baby shower, Balaladeva relieves Amarendra of his duties as commander-in-chief so that Amarendra can be with his wife. Devasena immediately speaks out against the king's manipulation and the mute inaction of Sivagami. Due to further clashes, Devasena and Amarendra are banished from the palace. Amarendra and Devasena live happily among the people. Balaladeva notices that to the people, Amarendra is their king, and hatches a plot with his father by Jaladeva, Nasser, to convince Sivagami that Amarendra is trying to assassinate him. Sivagami, convinced that Balaladeva's life is under threat and open action would result in factions and civil war, orders Katapa to assassinate Amarendra. Katapa, bound by his word to serve the queen, lures Amarendra by feigning he is in trouble, and then stabs him in the back and kills him. Katapa learns of Balaladeva's treachery and informs Sivagami. Devasena too arrives to learn of her husband's death with her son, in her arms. Sivagami announces the panicked hordes outside her palace that Amarendra is dead and the baby, Mahendra Bahubali, is the new king. As Balaladeva and his men are about to seize the queen, she flees with baby Mahendra Bahubali. Bali. Devasena is taken prisoner for the next 25 years. The Kuntala kingdom is destroyed completely by Balaladeva. The now ousted Kuntala king, Mecha Ramakrishna, leads the rebel group that has indulged in guerrilla warfare against King Balaladeva. After listening to the whole story, Mahendra Bahubali alias Shivudu, 
Prabhas, decides to avenge his father's death by raising his own army with the help of Kadapa and returns to Mahishmati along with Avantika, Tamina, and the people of the city. Balaladeva once again kidnaps Devasena and seals the palace, but Bahubalai, ingenious like his father, manages to enter the palace to capture Balaladeva. Bijaladeva tries to brainwash Kadapa reminding him of his forefathers pledge of their allegiance to protect and defend the throne of Mahasmata and their duty to be loyal to the king. Kadapa reminds him that Sivagami had declared Mahendra Hendra Bahubali king before her death 25 years back and hence his loyalties instead lie with the rightful king, Bahubali. Balaladeva is later defeated by Bahubali and burnt alive on a pyre prepared by Devasena. Ending the cruel regime of Balaladeva, Bahubali becomes the new king of Mahishmati with Avantika as his queen, declaring peace and harmony. In the end credits, a child is heard asking an elder whether the son of Mahendra Bahubali will become the next king of Mahishmati, to which, the elder replies, who knows what Lord Shiva is planning. Equals equals cast equals equals Prabhas as Amarendra Bahubali and Mahendra Bahubali alias Sivudu, Telugu, Shivu, Tamil. Rana Dagu Bhadi as Balaladeva, Telugu, Palvaladavan, Tamil. Anushka Shetty as Uvarani, Princess, Devasena, Telugu, Thavasane, Tamil. Ramya Krishnan as Raja Matha, Queen Mother, Sivagami, Telugu and Tamil. Sathiraj as Kadapa, Telugu and Tamil, a slave and commander of the King's Guard. Tamina as Avantika, a member of a rebel group who wants to free Devasena. Nasser as Bijaladeva, Telugu. Pingalathavan, Tamil, father of Balaladeva. Subaraju as Kumara Varma, brother-in-law of Devasena. Pruthviraj Balareddy as Prime Minister of the Kunthala Kingdom. Mekha Ramakrishna as Jaya Varma, the king of Kunthala and leader of the rebel group. Rahini as Sangha, Sivudu's foster mother. Equals equals production equals equals. Bahubali, the conclusion is produced in Tollywood, the center of Telugu language films in India based out of Hyderabad. However it was filmed in both Telugu and Tamil languages simultaneously. The film series is touted to be the most expensive in India till date. The screenwriter, K. V. Vijayendra Prasad who wrote stories for most of Raja Moli's films once again penned the story for Bahubali. R. C. Kamalakanan is chosen as visual effects supervisor and Kota Jiri Venkateswara Rao is the editor. P. M. Sathish is the sound designer and stunt sequences were coordinated by King Solomon, Lee Whitaker, Kecha, and Peter Hine. The film's costume designers are Rama Raja Moli and Prasanth Tripuranena. The line producer is M. M. Srivali. The film shoot Shooting started on 17 December 2015 at Ramaji Film City in Hyderabad with Prabhas and Ramya Krishna. The film featuring Telugu star actors Prabhas and Rana Dagu Bhadi in the lead roles has become the biggest ever movie in India in terms of scale of production and making as of 2017. Equals 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 casting equals equals equals. Prabhas was cast as main lead of the film. Anushka Shetty was cast as the heroine of the film as she was also a part of Murchi, 2013. She coincidentally became the first heroine Raja Moli repeated in his films and thus made her schedules full for 2013 and 2014. Rana Dagu Bhadi was recruited as the antagonist of the film and coincidentally he was also a part of Rudramadeva. Sathiraj signed the film. In April 2013, Adiva Sesh was cast for a crucial role in the film as Raja Moli was impressed by his work in the Panja, 2011. 11. Actress Ramya Krishnan was chosen to play the crucial role in the film as Raja Matha in August 2013. Actor Nasser was selected to play a supporting role. Chirandeep was selected to play the brother of the film's chief villain. On 20 December 2013 a press release stated that Tamina will be second heroine of the film which marks her first collaboration with Raja Moli and second collaboration with Prabhas. Mecha Ramakrishna was picked for the head of the Kuntala Gorillas. Equals 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 characters and looks equals equals equals. Rana Dagu Bhatt Body was said to be playing the role of Prabhas brother and he too underwent a lot of physical transformation satisfying the role he was assigned to play in the film. He also underwent training in martial arts under the supervision of a Vietnamese trainer, Tuan. Sathiraj has a tonsured look for his role in the film. Sudeep said that he would play the role of a weapons trader as Lam Khan in this film. In the end of October 2013, Rana appeared at a fashion show with a beefed up body which, according to him, was a part of his look in the film. In mid-May 2014, reports emerged that Anushka would play a pregnant woman for a few sequences in the second part of the film. At the same time, Prabhas posted on his Facebook page that he underwent a minor shoulder surgery and would join the film sets in a span of a month. On 1 June 2014, Prabhas and Rana's trainer Lakshman Reddy, said that Prabhas started his training eight months before the commencement of shooting and after two years, both of them weighed nearly 100 kilos each. He also added that Prabhas has two attires with a heavy, bulky body for Bahubali's role and a lean physique for the second role. For his look, 
Prabhas met WWE superstars like The Undertaker in February 2014 and interacted with them about their daily regimen and workouts. Prabhas had equipment costing 15 million rupees shipped to his home, where he built a personal gym. His breakfast included 40 half-boiled egg whites blended and added with protein powder. In mid-June 2014, regarding her role in the film, Tamina said that she would be playing the role of a warrior princess named Avantika and her appearance in the film is completely different when compared to her past films. Before joining the film's shoot, Tamina did costume trials for the film which she confirmed in her micro-blogging page stating I am very excited to get onto the set of Bahubali. I did some dress trials today and my look in this movie will be totally new. I have never been seen in such sort of a look till now. It will be a new role for me. Rajamoli called Tamina and her characterization as a value addition to the movie. She stated that she plays Avantika, and had a special training and diet regime. The film introduced a new language called Kilikili. Equals equals music equals equals. Rajamoli's cousin M. M. Kiravani composed the music and background for the film. All lyrics written by Madan Karki. All lyrics written by Manoj Montashir. All lyrics written by Mankambu Gopalakrishnan. Equals equals release equals equals. The film was released in conventional 2D as well as in IMAX format on the 28th of April 2017 in about 9,000 screens worldwide. The film was initially released in most Gulf countries, including the UAE, a day earlier on the 27th of April 2017. The Telugu version of the film was insured against financial loss by future generali for 200 rupees crore bahubali 2 the conclusion set a record collection of 500 rupees crore 5 billion rupees before the release of the film through satellite and theatrical rights equals equals box office equals equals bahubali 2 the conclusion on the first day of its release grossed 217 rupees crore 34 million dollars worldwide which is the highest opening ever for an indian film surpassing kabbalai 87 rupees and 50 pays crore 14 million dollars bahubali Bahubali 2 set a new Indian record of worldwide gross of about 540 rupees crore, 84 million dollars, in just three days. Bahubali 2 grossed 81 million dollars, third on the global box office list, during the opening weekend, including 10.1 million dollars in the United States alone, the highest ever opening for an Indian film in the US. It set a new record of highest ever domestic grosser in all languages in India grossing 565 rupees crore, 88 million dollars, in five days. It also became the highest grossing Indian film ever with worldwide gross of 792 rupees crore in all languages in just six days. Bahubali 2 became the first Indian film to worldwide gross in excess of 1,000 rupees crore, 160 million dollars, in all languages. The film grossed over 1,250 rupees crore, 190 million dollars, crores in all languages by the end of two weeks. After 16 days, the film's global collection stood at 1,330 rupees crore, 210 million dollars. It grossed over 1450 rupees crore 230 million dollars by the end of 19 days its worldwide gross crossed 1500 rupees crore 230 million dollars at the end of 21 days equals 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 india equals 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 in india bahubali 2 the conclusion grossed 152 rupees and 60 pays crore 24 million dollars on its first day of release in india from all four versions telugu Tamil, Malayalam and Hindi. By the end of the third day, the film had grossed 415 rupees crore, 64 million dollars in the domestic market. The film grossed 695 rupees crore, 110 million dollars in India by the end of first week. The Hindi dubbed version of Bahubali 2 alone netted 386 rupees crore, 60 million dollars in India in 2 weeks. The Hindi version's distributor share after 11 days stands at 185 rupees crore, 29 million dollars, the highest ever for a Hindi film, breaking the previous record of Dangle. Bahubali 2 grossed around 100 rupees crore in Tamil Nadu and 50 rupees crore in Kerala. Equals 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 overseas equals equals equals. It collected around 60 rupees crore, 9.3 million dollars, on its first day from the overseas markets with 30 rupees crore, 300 million rupees, coming from the US, 16 rupees crore, 2.5 million dollars, from the UAE and the rest from other markets. By the end of the third day, it collected 125 rupees rupees crore 19 million dollars from the overseas market with 64 rupees crore 9.9 .9 million dollars coming from the US alone on the 3rd of May 2017 Bahubali 2 the conclusion became the highest grossing Indian film at the US box office with 12.5 million dollars surpassing Dangle's gross of 12.3 million dollars Bahubali 2 the conclusion became the first Indian film to cross 11.1 million dollars in Middle East GCC Gulf surpassing Bajrangi Bhaijan 
As of the 14th of May 2017, the film has grossed $19 million in the United States. By the end of 16 days of its release, the film's overseas gross stands at 240 rupees crore, $37 million. Equals equals critical reception equals equals. The film received positive reviews from critics and audience. Mike McCahill of The Guardian gave an four-fifths rating and called it a jaw-dropping blockbuster that combines nimble action with genuine heart. He also stated, this production's triumph is the room it's granted Raja Moli to head into the fields and dream up endlessly expressive ways to frame bodies in motion. Of the many sequences here primed to cut through jadedness, perhaps the most wondrous is that which finds Bahu guiding Deva mid-battle to shoot three arrows simultaneously, a set piece that speaks both to a love of action, and love in action. The budget's big, the muscle considerable, but they're nothing compared with Bahu Balai's heart. Simon Abrams of Rogerbert.com gave the film a four-quarters rating and wrote, Bahu Balai 2, the conclusion is everything I want, but rarely get from superhero and big-budget fantasy movies. You care what happens to the cast as they, aided by wires, hurl volleys of arrows at disposable min Opinions, and CGI animals. You haven't seen action scenes with physics and logic defying choreography like this before. He also noted many American viewers may wonder how a film that received little to no media coverage could surpass The Circle, a new studio produced and distributed thriller starring Tom Hanks and Emma Watson, at the US box office. But they have to see it to know why. Ratchet Gupta from Film Fair gave the film a rating of 4.55, stating, S.S. Rajamoli's much awaited sequel is the kind of movie Indian cinema should make regular. It's the kind of sweeping magnum opus that Indian mythos and culture deserve. It's the biggest film we have ever made and barring a few minor glitches in CGI, this film is possible the greatest spectacle you'll see on a big screen, in your life. Sangeetha Devi Dundu from The Hindu stated, For the most part, the conclusion doesn't let us take our eyes off the screen. It's designed to be a cinematic celebration, one that deserves to be watched on the largest screen possible. Hemant Kumar from First Post called it Rajamoli's epic drama and rated it four-fifths. Sinha of Hindu Stan Times gave the film a rating of three-fifths stars, praising the film's cinematography and special effects, but found fault with some of the female characters. Sinha stated, Devasena, starts off as an ace warrior only to be tamed into someone who has to be protected. Shubra Gupta of Indian Express rated the film two-fifths stars, noting problems with pacing and sound. Meena Iyer from the Times of India rated it four-fifths, writing, Just savor it. It is a visual extravaganza that India must feast on. Prabhas is terrific as father and son. Of course it is CGI and VFX that grab you in your seat. Kanya Verma from Rediff rated the film 3.55, writing, Bahubali, the conclusion continues its tradition of grandiloquence and magnitude, except this time, high drama, more than spectacle, is what lends its riveting tale of revenge and glory all its wallop and wizardry. She also praised the film's cast and director stating, equipped with a cast that's not only in tune with Rajamoli's vision but knows exactly where to hold back and when to give their all adds to Bahubali's might. Anupama Subramanian of the Deccan Chronicle gave the film a 3.55, saying Prabhas steals the show with his awe-inspiring persona. Equals equals see also equals equals. India Portal. 2010's Portal. Film Portal. Bollywood Portal. List of most expensive Indian films. List of highest grossing Indian films. Equals equals references equals equals. Equals equals external links equals equals. Bahubali. The conclusion at the Internet Movie Database. The conclusion at Box Office Mojo.